Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Uh, Mr. Manlu wrote in on my live stream that I did last night that this was in here and kind of just sitting here not doing much more than it's doing right now. <laughs> um, I've been using this as a sound source, but I've been getting a lot of questions about what the heck is this on my streams? And uh, people have, uh, like Mr. Manlu, were like, hey, how's the latency on it? So we'll get into that kind of stuff. Uh, first up, this is the GPD Win Mini 2025. It is a small, um, kind of more geared towards gaming handheld PC. Um, you can see it's got like some left and right triggers on it. You can see from the top it had like the uh, Xbox style um, controls for it with some uh, thumbsticks and stuff. On the back here, you've got a micro SD slot, a USB A a TRS jack for getting audio out, and then you get a USB, uh, two USB-Cs. This one happens to be a USB 4, USB 4 so um, it's nice. I did kickstart the first one of these, and it died from overheating. I, I suspect that the silicon uh, actually melted and disconnected a CPU or something critical from the board. Um, and this was like, what, 10-ish years ago uh, when the first one came out. I really liked it. It was actually a really nice device, probably two thirds the size of this. Had about a five inch display instead of a seven inch ish display. But uh, they, you can see here a lot more cooling. And I haven't seen anybody complain about um, the overheating here. Like this is very power hungry. And uh, I'll get into a few things that I've gotten set up here. But I would say so far, I haven't had it like feel like it was going to melt in my hands or anything else. It hasn't felt uh, like when you first get it powered on, it's, you're going to hear it just like the fans just kick in. It's running at basically maximum uh, power. And uh, there's some tools to reduce the power usage. Um, Mr. Man Lu uh, wrote in and was asking how's the latency on it and I figured I'll just kind of go through a lot of like the little tiny things so first up I haven't found anybody actually in for more than seven or eight years talking about using Ableton Live on the GPD Win or Mini really like it seems like people haven't been interested for whatever reason or they're doing it and they're not talking about it uh I'm not um I don't know I guess there's a bit of a gap so um this has a AMD processor in it. You can get uh, between like, I think 16 and 64 gigs of memory. You can get up to a two terabyte drive in here uh, by default. I've read online, people have talked about getting eight terabytes. And I'll tell you, for something that is smaller than a VHS cassette, you can get an awful lot of power on it. And uh, just size comparison wise, if you know what the Dirty Wave M8 is, it's really not that much bigger than the M8 and uh, it weighs a lot more, but it's also not like a whole lot thicker than it if you consider like the keys and stuff. So like just for what you get here, if you're looking for something that you just have like a little portable handheld studio and don't mind kind of some of the, the, the trackpads, okay, the keyboards, okay, you're not gonna be touch typing on this thing, but if you just need to rename some files or you wanna be able to just record some stuff in, uh, you get a lot of connectivity on the back and can do an awful lot of fun stuff. So to uh, discuss Mr. Man Lou's question, let's kind of plug some stuff in. We got a question on latency. So I'm just going to plug in the OPXY so I can use it as a keyboard and we've got the audio out. I'm going to open back up here and a uh, nice 1080p display here. So um, definitely quite nice. I've got Ableton Live running full screen. And uh, as I said, I've, I mean, I've said on the stream, I've been using this really as a sound source. I'm not trying to write songs here or anything, but I can get up to, I can be able to see on the screen about six to seven ish tracks, maybe nine or 10 closer. If I wanted to close out like the reverb and delay, just not have them as uh, signal paths. But uh, with this set up by default, it's going to run, if I hold control comma, you're going to see, it might be super hard to read this stuff, but you're going to see MME DirectX as the uh, driver type by default that it's using to connect. It's not great for latency. It will sound fine, but uh, I, would ex I would actually suggest getting ASIO for all. So I've got ASIO here, and with ASIO for all selected here as the audio device, 
it is actually pretty low latency. It's, right now it says uh, it's a 512 sample buffer and 13.3 milliseconds, which is pretty low. So I have already, if I just go into controller mode on the OPXY here, and I've got the track armed. I mean, like, I'm 13 milliseconds is, to me, like, almost nothing. I can play this just fine. If I switch over to the MME DirectX driver, it's going to be a bit more latency. I actually don't mind working with it when I'm, you know, kind of on a piano roll or something. Like, it doesn't bother me, but it can be a little bit of a, a trick to work with. Um, battery life on this, running Ableton... Uh, I think like I had like a two hour stream yesterday and just had this kind of open sitting here with the display up. It was, it maybe used like 33% of the battery. I'm, I suspect for the, if you're not, if you're just letting it sit around, do not much of anything, you can probably get like six ish hours out of it. If you're doing what I'm doing, which is, let me alt tab over. Um, this app motion assist is something that will come installed on it. It allows you to do select different power levels for basically how much power is the CPU using. And uh, it will by default be at like 24, 23, 24 watts. Now that is quite a bit, especially if you're just having it sit around idle. I've been kind of keeping it around 12 watts. Basically what it's doing is it's reducing the amount of um, power the CPU can ask for or consume for uh, being able to run things on the computer, so kind of dropped it in half. And if I'm just doing one or two tracks at a time, which is kind of what I'm doing with Ableton right now, using this as a sound source to record into either the M8 or the SP404 Mark II, it has been perfectly fine for running an, a handful of instruments, maybe with some effects and things. Um, I haven't tried to do a full music track production, but the demo track that comes with uh, Ableton, I mean, it played just fine even at a reduced uh, power consumption and usage. So um, for at least doing some small things and having a portable little studio here, this has been great for me. Um, I've also installed uh, Reason Studio on here because there are some nice effects and things I wanted to have access to. Be able to throw in, a, again, th take this anywhere, throw it in a backpack and uh, be able to kind of produce on it. You'll see here, I mean, you get like these little chiclet keys. They have like almost no throw to them. I think it's just like a very thin sensor pad with like these keys resting on top. So when you push down, you're just kind of doing it. But again, like even this, like I wouldn't want to play out a whole uh, performance on it. But for something just to have the quick Ableton access to be able to play things. I can at least do this again, throw in my backpack. If I'm just trying to go do a little bit of playing around and getting some stuff together works great. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to tell you other than, um, this little PC certainly runs Ableton live just fine. Uh, if you need to wear glasses or something that might be less fun to work with. Um, but, uh, for my use case and just kind of doing an instrument or two here, or there, not really having to go tweak a ton um, or trying to go program in on like the piano roll. Like this touchpad is again, like a lot of it's just like, it's okay. It's fine. Um, if I'm going to be working in a studio environment, I don't, I would not use this probably, but I can come in and you know, I can get a piano roll as big or small as I want or need it to be. I can, you know, just kind of draw stuff in and work with it. So Anyway, anybody that's interested in GPD Win 2025 with Ableton Live, it works. And uh, with ASIO for all drivers, I think you'll be, pre be in pretty good shape for latency. Uh, I haven't plugged in a ton of devices to this yet to be able to say, hey, like this works really well or that doesn't work very well. I have tried the Move. It is, as a controller, pretty good. Um, you can move around pretty quick. Um, I'm sure the push two or push three would be much better and competent. But again, if you're getting something like this, you're looking for something smaller. So the move is not too bad. Anyway, uh, Mr. Man Lou, thank you for the question. Everybody else, uh, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.